my total rise, subfloor to subfloor, and in our case, that is also finished floor to finished floor. By the time we add carpet and pad and we add hardwood, basically those are three quarters. I am 124 inches, one eighth, 16 rises. I'm gonna enter that as the rise. 10 and a quarter as the run. Diagonals, 12 and 7 eighths. So here's my pitch block. Seven and three quarters, 10 and a quarter. And then I take the line with the blade to account for when I go to mark it, my pencil thickness. 124 inches, 1 eighth, 16 rises. I'm gonna enter that as the rise. 10 and a quarter as the run. Diagonals, 12 and 7 eighths. I'm gonna store that. Now when I add that, recall M plus, as I add those, it takes into account all of the rounding and any accumulated error. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a pitch block with my rise and my run, and I'm gonna center that between all of the marks that my calculator tells me. Here I'm just marking what our old finished carpenter called the points. It's where the rise meets the run. I just mark those all the way down and then connect the dots. Okay, so here's how the pitch block works. I've laid out what is equivalent to the diagonal of my rise and run. Calculator keeps track of all the fractions. Then all I do is center that guy up right between them, work my way down. At the bottom, I'm subtracting for the thickness of my tread and at the top, I'm gonna to subtract for the thickness of my riser. So since I'm gonna gang cut these, the last thing I do, make sure that the underside of the stairs is nice and smooth. These are automatically going to be exactly the same. Hey, uh, I don't remember how chords work. Plug it in! Got it. <laughs> I like to finish the cuts with the reciprocating saw. You just cut right up to the intersection there between the tread and the riser. I add one by four as a spacer so the drywall can slip beside the stringers. And then make sure when you're nailing that that you angle your nails. You don't want to tear your clothes as you install the stringers. You typically fasten these with Fasten Master ledger locks. So as important as the glue in building a squeak-free stair assembly are the fasteners. This fastener is a spiral shank three and a quarter inch nail that has this glue. So as the nail drives, that friction heats up the glue. The last set of stairs, I made the mistake of shooting the stringers to the wall with these, and I had made a mistake. So I had to move one of them. A lot of saws all work. I was unable to pull the nails. Da, 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 da. 